Ladies and gentlemen, your YouTube luchador weighing in at more weight than he probably should have at a height at 5'5". Five five. This is Vargas! Welcome to the Vargas Wrestling Corner. What are you gonna do, brother, when the Vargas comes right back at you? Imagine 24 inch pythons there. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Vargas recording live from the Vargas Vault, and I am back here with a much delayed uh, wrestling pickup video. Uh, I've had uh, these things uh, sitting in the vault for a while until I could actually sit down and record, and now I have the chance, so I wanted to make a pickup video. Uh, just quickly, uh, the, the month of January is a big month because it's the month of Royal Rumble, which is one of WWE's big four events. You got uh, Survivor Series, SummerSlam, well, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, the Royal Rumble, and WrestleMania. And the road, the road to the Royal Rumble, I'm sorry, the road to WrestleMania starts at the Royal Rumble. Uh, it's one of my, uh, it's my second favorite event after WrestleMania. Uh, because I like the dynamic of uh, 30 guys coming in every two minutes. And then you have this whole... Uh, you know, a clusterfuck of people, and then you have surprise entries, you know, uh, one year they brought out Mil Mascaras and Pierrot, uh, one year they brought out Mr. Perfect, Mr. Perfect, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, AJ Styles premiered, so it, it's a big thing, it's a big event, and it's per my, one of my personal, uh, second favorite, personal uh, favorites of the WWE's uh, pay-per-views. And this year they're doing a, a new thing where now the women get a chance to participate. So this year you're going to have a male 30 over the top rope uh, Royal Rumble. And then you have a woman uh, 30 woman uh, over the top rope Royal Rumble. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, WWE doesn't have a big roster of women. They only have like 20. Uh, 19 because Paige is out of action after a really bad neck injury. Uh, so they might bring back a lot of people. It's rumored... The Ronda Rousey is going to pop up at the Royal Rumble. Uh, she's already signed. She's in uh, the developmental area of WWE, preparing herself for her big debut. So it might happen at the Royal Rumble. I'm also looking forward to uh, maybe Alita coming back. Uh, Alita, as far as I know, is still wrestling. So she might come back. They might also bring up someone else. So uh, it, it's really exciting. And, and, and I'm really, really looking forward to uh, the Royal Rumble. It's like I said, um, my second favorite uh, pay-per-view of WWE, and it starts the whole road for WrestleMania, because uh, everything is set up at the Royal Rumble, and then it works in the following months up to WrestleMania, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'm getting pumped up again for WWE. I always get pumped up for WWE during this period, because it's, it's when they really put out their A-game, and you get quality stuff. Um, still watching Mexican luchadors, you, uh, still watching uh, Consejo Mundial de Lucha Libre a lot, because they do, do actually do post a lot on YouTube. Uh, they post every uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, so you've got two hours, six hours of uh, luchador goodness there. Uh, AAA, still watching that, The Crash, uh, there was a live event uh, uh, for The Crash, which I didn't get to go, unfortunately, which sucks. And the next live event I might be able to go is in February, so still got a bit to go for that one. Um, and I watched, um, I mentioned this on Facebook and on, on Instagram, uh, I watched the Kenny Omega, uh, Chris Jericho match. Uh, don't know that much about New Japan uh, Pro Wrestling. Uh, I'm mostly a luchador and WWE guy, uh, but I've heard good things about that. And I've seen a couple of matches uh, before this. Uh, with Japanese wrestling, but they do some really, really weird stuff. <laughs> so uh, it, it's never really picked my interest that much until now uh, when Chris Jericho went uh, and challenged Kenny Omega. Well, I've seen a couple matches here and there, but their match was really cool. It was uh, it was on YouTube for a bit. Uh, I got to see it. 39 minutes of just insane wrestling. Uh, the video got taken down, but it was a really good match. 
And, uh, yeah, a lot of people didn't think Jericho had it in him because he's 47. But uh, Chris Jericho, you know, has given some really good matches throughout his career. And uh, he's always trying to reinvent himself. So lots of good stuff from Jericho. And that match with Kenny Omega was really good. Uh, now he's got a new feud with, I, I can't pronounce his name, but uh, he's the leader of Los Ingobernables, Japan. Uh, I can't I can't remember his name, but he's got that. So apparently he's still going to be in uh, New Japan for a bit. Even though I think he's supposed to be in Raw, uh, Raw 25th anniversary, which would seem weird because he's been kind of bad talking uh, of the WWE. And they're, rightly so, he's been uh, bad talking the fact that uh, they're not pushing new talent. They just keep, you know, protecting the older talent, and it doesn't give way for innovation, which is totally true. It's one of the big complaints WWE has, because when they do get new talent, like your Kevin Owens, like your Sami Zayn's, like uh, your uh, Bobby Roode's, like like your Shisuke Nakamura, uh, they're totally underused. Uh, they they come in with all the hype of NXT, and then they get to the main roster. And then, like, WWE is, like, they just, like, take a shit on them, and, and they job them out uh, horribly, and they don't do anything good. So, so yeah, it's going to be interesting for to see the Raw 25th anniversary, and then the Royal Rumble, which I'm really, really excited about. Uh, this time around, I have the mask of El Espanto. I love this mask. Uh, it, it has, like, uh, this white cross and the front, which looks like a Templar cross. And uh, I like the contrast of the black with the white. This white thing is really cool. Uh, I mentioned this before. Um, when I was a kid, I, I, I used to buy like these little pamphlets, sticker albums. Uh, and I would put the stickers. And I would. Uh, th th there are a lot of masks that I really enjoyed. Uh, Dinieblas, of course, the best one. Uh, Blue Demon, El Santo. Este, Fishman. Uh, Atlantis. Uh... Uh, Kanek, and this one always, I, I, I like this one a lot, and I'm really super happy I, I was able to find it, because it's pretty cool. So, uh, getting back on track to the wrestling pickups, uh, I haven't been able to pick up any wrestling DVDs, uh, I'm I'm waiting for SummerSlam to drop, I know SummerSlam uh, should be out on DVD soon, I want to get that. Uh, Movie John, uh, my good buddy Movie John mentioned, uh, bought and did a review of a, uh, a three-disc collector set of called the Dawn of the Attitude Era, and uh, I, I would would like to get that one. That one looks really cool. I, I also seen an NXT uh, best matches of NXT. Uh, if, if I can get that, that would be cool. And I'm still hunting down uh, whatever wrestling I can, but uh, I've kind of hit a, a little slump because I haven't been able to find any wrestling DVDs, unfortunately. Uh, the closest I was going to get is that with, uh, with Movie Freak Bazaar, he, he uploaded a WrestleMania, WrestleMania 15, uh, during his fire sale, but uh, unfortunately someone already beat me to it, so I, I couldn't get that one. And that one would have been really cool because it's uh, the main event was Austin versus The Rock, and if memory serves me right, uh, uh, that might be their first match, because later on they did fight, and that's when Austin turned heel. Or is uh, WrestleMania 15 when he turned heel? I don't know. Uh, I don't remember that well. Uh, but Austin and The Rock fought three times. Uh, I know one. Uh, one of them was the one where he turned heel. And the, un the other one was Austin's kind of like retirement match. So yeah. So no wrestling DVDs. But I did find a wrestling figure. Uh, guy at work usually finds stuff. And then he sells them. And uh, he knows that I've been on the wrestling craze. And he found... This giant rock figure, it's like uh, it's like really big, it's a little bigger than my head actually. Uh, it's not as articulated as uh, the elite uh, fig small figure line. Uh, it's not even as articulated as the basic. It's just one of these really uh, big figures, and uh, he does move his hands like so, and his feet like so. But that's as far as the articulation goes. His head also moves. But uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I already have a small rock figure. Uh, this one is actually a little bigger than, like I said, the, bigger than my head. But I thought it was pretty cool. Nice collectible there to have. Uh, I would like to get a, 
on, on this size, I would like to get an Undertaker or maybe an Austin, but yeah, I, I, I'm going for collecting the the smaller ones. Um, only figure I picked up, I did pick up some masks a long while ago. These are actually the last batch of masks that I picked up. Uh, with these masks, I'm up to 30 masks, and uh, I think I'm good for a bit. Um, I don't, I don't need to track down any other masks. Uh, a few masks, if they come my way and I can get them cheap, I suppose I would buy them. But these are pretty cool. Uh, the majority of the masks that I own are the kind of masks that they sell outside of the arenas. Uh, where I bought them, and they're like uh, uh, fabric, plastic fabric here. Uh, some sort of fabric here, and on the inside, it's like foam. It's a, it's kind of a, a thin foam. Uh, looks really cool. I like it, but obviously the best kind of mask are the cloth ones. And these uh, I found really, really cheap. And the uh, first one I found is a cloth mask of La Parca. So the plastic, uh, this is good quality plastic, but this is uh, a little more sturdier. And uh, but uh, the mask itself is cloth. There's no, there's no uh, foam, so it's a little cooler than this. If it's really hot, the foam on this gets really hot, and I I, I have to take it off after a bit. But these cloth masks are really cool. They breathe better. Uh, it's it doesn't get as hot. Uh, the only problem between this one. And, uh, actually, no, I take it back. It, it is actually a complete mask. I guess I already have a parka mask, a one of these kind of foam masks. Uh, but this is a, a entirely cloth mask with, uh, the plastic here. But it almost looks kind of professional. Uh, so, yeah, this is the design of the parka. Because I already have Ellie Park, which is the original parka. And I have uh, La Parca Triple A, which is the wrestler right now that's using the name. But this design, I picked it up because it's the the middle point for this. This is the design of uh, La Parca that he had, uh, if memory serves me right, the design he had when he was in WCW. Uh, with the dots here. And then after we came to La Parca, he changed his uh, mask. And then eventually uh, La Parca Triple A changed his mask. Uh, to, with teeth and everything. So this is like a nice middle point. This is the, the mask that made the character famous in WCW. And so I now have his mask and then his middle points, the the LA Park and La Parca Triple A. So I thought this was pretty cool. I, I liked it. You know, I already own a Parca mask. Uh, this is like a good middle point for that. Uh, also, and they come in these bags, the, these, bas the, these masks that I buy, they're like loose. But these ones come in bags, so they also have that extra professionalism. Uh, another one I bought is another Dr. Wagner mask. Uh, kind of simple, kind of simple. It doesn't have any any vibrant colors like the other ones I own. It, it's kind of similar to this one, uh, but it has your Dr. Wagner design here. The iconic Dr. Wagner mask. doesn't have the, the cracks that the, the new design has. Uh, if memory serves me right, this is the kind of a design that he used in one of his matches when he was in uh, CML, El Consejo Mundial de Lucha Libre, uh, when he was trying to get Octagon into a match. And then he later changed it, became, made the mask uh, more vibrant, more it popped better with the cracks and the different colors and different holograms and everything. But um, I saw this and I liked it. Very nice call off to uh, Dr. Wagner's first uh, uh Design uh, mask designs. Of course, the original design mask is the one of his father, which just is all white and has the same uh, front design. Uh, also, one of the legendary masks that I wanted to get, and I think I might have mentioned in my last video, is Mascara Sagrada, and I actually did find a Mascara Sagrada mask. Again, all cloth, very light, uh, doesn't heat up that much, and. Uh, you can't see its eyes because it has like a metal mesh here. It's really cool. And uh, this is another mask that I really enjoyed uh, flipping through and watching him wrestler, wrestle. Uh, Mascara Sagrada, I, I liked him uh, as a wrestler. Uh, I like the side of his mask. It's all white and just has this really cool kind of like bird image here. So I thought this was pretty cool. 
Another legendary mask that I, I toyed with getting, but I saw it in this way and I couldn't pass up. It's the mask of Blue Panther. Again, also cloth. It's cloth. And uh, these uh, don't have this particular part, but uh, professional masks have this kind of, it's called a lengueta. It's kind of an extra bit of cloth uh, where you would tie it up on the back just to give it a, a little extra more you know protection uh, and these masks have that again I got these super super cheap so that's why I, I, I bought them and I thought they were beautiful and this is the mask of Blue Panther love the design uh, the original Blue Panther lost his mask of uh, a number of years ago but his two sons are continuing the legacy as El Panther and uh, I think it's El Hijo del Blue Panther or Blue Panther Jr., I don't know what, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what name he's using, uh, but I love the design of the mask. Kind of similar to Blue Demon, uh, with the blue here, but uh, this, this design has always been kind of iconic, so another one of those masks that I, I would see in, you know, when I was growing up, and I thought, those are pretty masks. One more mask, I actually have two more masks to show, one more mask that I bought, another also really cool looking one, is... El Felino. This is a uh, kind of like the answer to Tiger Mask. Uh, Tiger Mask is a Japanese wrestler. I know him because uh, you know he's really big, and I if memory serves me right. I think I might have seen a cartoon of his, and there's a newer cartoon out there with Tiger Mask, and uh, he's like a legacy wrestler. There's Tiger Mask one, then when his uh, career ended, there's Tiger Mask two, three, four, and so on. So, uh, Mexico came out with their own kind of like tiger thing besides Blue Panther. And uh, this is El Felino. And also, uh, very similar to tiger, tiger Mask, just is black with red. And Tiger Mask is yellow with, uh, you know, tiger stripes. But they also have uh, the hairs here, the mutton chops. This thing, this looks really cool. And the next video I use, I'm going to use this one because it, it looks really, really cool. And uh, he also lost his mask, but his son, uh, El Tigre, or, or Tiger, Tiger, El Tigre, I'm thinking, <laughs> Tiger has, uh, uh, is following his legacy, it's his son, uh, he's part of the Casas family, and his design is really cool, it's white, uh, one half has a black and white version of this, and the other half is kind of more like a tiger with a scar, looks really cool, if I find that one, I'd pick it up, because it looks really, really cool. Uh, but this is the original El Felino. I really like it. like the mutton chops and the whole tiger look of it. And the last mask I picked up... Actually, no, I have two more masks. Uh, the last mask I picked up of this kind is Atlantis. I picked up another Atlantis mask. Uh, I already have Atlantis. It, again, foam kind. But this is a cloth mask, and I really like the design of Atlantis. Uh, the guy didn't have any of the... Uh, big ones. He didn't have Tinieblas. He didn't have Santo. He didn't have uh, Blue Demon. I would love to own cloth versions of those. But uh, Atlantis is also really cool. He's like the the longest masked wrestler that the Consejo Mundial for Lucha Libre has left. And I like the design. I like the design with the fishes and his logo here. So really cool. I, I'm really happy I double dipped and bought this one. So I prob I'll probably get rid of the foam version of this and the last one is a kids mask that my wife got uh, uh, I, I'm guessing for maybe one day we have a kid or maybe as a gift somewhere down the line it's kind of falling apart actually but it's a Rey Mysterio mask or a, a child's Rey Mysterio mask yeah but the glue is kind of coming undone I could glue it back but yeah, Rey Mysterio yeah uh, I that was the <laughs> uh, wrestling collection video small video well it's gonna be kind of long but as as far as the amount of stuff that I have uh, just some really cool math and now tip me to the 30 point mark I have 30 masks and after uh, you know talking with my wife I think I'm gonna stop at 30 <laughs> even though I have a lot of doubles uh, technically I have 30 masks but some of them are doubles for example Dr. Wagner I have three Dr. Wagner masks I have two two Atlantis masks uh, I have three parkas masks, so technically I only have like 25, so I think I could buy five more, right, 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 right. And uh, still want to get two more belts, still need to get the 
universal championship belt and a woman's belt for my daughter and uh figures i still need a couple more so yeah mostly i just wanted to give you an update of the mask because uh, i've had those masks waiting for a, a recording until now i was able to sit down and record and uh you know what's the status of wrestling because i i'm still watching wrestling i'm still enjoying wrestling especially now that the rumble's just around the corner and uh, a lot of things happening in Mexico. Luchador matches are also shaping up to be really cool. Um, I hope that this year I get to see uh, Tinieblas versus El Hijo del Solitario. That would be really cool. Uh, Mascara contra Mascara. Uh, I've seen it on TV, but I've never actually experienced a, a, a wagers match live. So that would be pretty cool. Another one they're hyping that I, ha I hope happens here in TJ is um, Rush versus L.A. Park, Gaviera uh, versus Mask. Uh, they're building that up, and I hope it happens, uh, even though uh, I don't think Rush, because Rush has a lot of wagers with his with his hair, and he hasn't lost, so and, and he's building his career up. Well, well as the uh, L.A. Park, who's awesome, I, I really like L.A. Park, but his career is kind of coming down, so... So, it, logistically, it makes sense that uh, L.A. Park would lose and retire removing his mask. Uh, he's got has a good run, and his son is is, is following in his footsteps, uh, as opposed to Rush losing his hair. I think it, it would hurt Rush a lot more to lose his hair. But at the same time, you know, he would be losing it against a legend like L.A. Park. So, uh, if L.A. Park wants to retire with the mask, he could do it after fighting Rush. Or, you know, he could be like The Undertaker and, and retire having taken a big loss to build up Rush, who's really cool. So, anything could happen. But I'll keep you updated because I don't see myself buying that any more masks anytime soon unless I come across, like, a really, really cool one that I just cannot, uh, you know, not buy. Uh, and wrestling DVDs are the only other reason I think I could, I could make another wrestling pickup video. Because I, I picked up some wrestling DVDs, which I hope I do someday. But I'll keep you posted on stuff like that. Uh, I apologize for taking so long. The, the, the last video I uploaded, I think, was in Christmas. Or a little bit after Christmas when I recorded that failed live event. Uh, I don't like how the video quality turned out in that one. So I don't think I'll do another one of those anytime soon. But um, I got a, co a couple of more videos to record. So I'll see you in a bit. But until then... One moment, please. This was Vargas recording live from the squared circle, squared circle of the Vargas Vault. Thanking you all. And I'll be seeing you later.